Hello and welcome to Mayfold Farm. We've just had a quite a big meeting with the owner this morning. We've arrived here now. Um, they basically want us to run the farm for a bit. They don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, they've no idea at the moment, but they might be basically they're doing some other job that they might be retiring from, and they want this to be where they retire to. They'll be in that house that we've just come from. But it's practically August here now, and I think there's been a lot of work done out here. It's all been harvested and ploughed, etc. But there's still a little bit of harvesting to do. So, we bought ourselves this truck while we're here to get around in. And I think they said the worker here is, or is about to go out power harrowing, I think. But yeah, they want, he wants us to basically, money is not a sort of object, to improve the place a little bit and upgrade some of the machinery. So there's still some barley in there by all accounts that's got to go. Uh, I think they've got four tractors. There's this little Deutz on the power arrow. So there is one other person that works here as well. Um, there's a Fiat 11090 on a loader. The weight on the back. Uh, there's some chickens in this barn. Scratching around. So the first thing that I think we've got to do is we've got to carry on combining. There's some oaks out there and there's some horse rape out there I think to do. So there's a trailer here and a stock trailer. It looks like this is a drilling tractor. MF 3670. And various balers and tethers and stuff in here. Might have done hit my head on that. And there's a John Deere 6630 they've got on this plough. And this is their combine. A class dominator. So we're going to get in this and go and cut that all seed rape. Bumpy in some places here. The driveway is a bit of a mess. So 
we've had a good look around anyway. There's some much bigger fields over there beside the road. So there's a possibility we might change this field back to grass that we're in now. And put the sheep out here. our worker out here combining at the moment now because we've got to go and look at our first problem so he went out with the little doits they've got uh, to start a power harrow and he said there's something seriously gone wrong with the gearbox he said it's been messing around for a long time and they had it fixed before apparently and it didn't get much better and it just got worse and it's now just had it so We'll get in the truck and go and have a look at it. It's a shame if something has gone wrong because it does actually look quite nice. So we'll put it in a forward gear. seem to want to do it and go backwards so that's that is a forward gear of what it's doing is going backwards so We can get this back to the farm like that, it's obviously had it. Well that didn't sound very good. Sounds a bit grindy. Yeah, we've got to drive forwards for a minute, we'll 
get it back to the farm but it's out of the way out of here. That really doesn't sound very good. So we'll probably get someone out to have a look at that and see what they think. But uh, I think the gearbox has had it. So we'll walk back and get our truck now. So we're back out in the field now. I took the plow off the 6630 and put the trailer on. We've just unloaded him. Yeah, so he's going to be a little while before he's full up again, so we'll just jump in the truck and go over the road and have a look. I'm not sure if we're going to make any hay this year, that's the hay that's left in the barn there. And that might be alright for the sheep for the winter. And maybe it makes some next year. There's quite a bit of grass out here. There's, I think, a couple of arable fields down that way. There's this one here. With a track that goes through. We've been out here with the work and they've explained to us what goes on here. What the score is. I think the sheep will be coming out here in the winter. They'll be getting moved the field that's out here. This grass field here had a big water leak, there's a big pipe underneath the ground and the water board had been out and repaired the, all the pipe work which ran most of this field and it's all been reseeded. So that should be popping up again shortly and repaired properly. This field here has all been drilled with all seed radish. And then the sheep can come out here in the winter and eat that. So I think there's a further grass field still behind us there that we could use, which is ours. There's one just out there, an entrance to one there. And there's quite a biggish one here. And I think there is another grass field up along the road on the right. Bit of a rough old track down there. So we've finished out in this field now, uh, it's just unloading. Um, I've had a chat with them and I'm thinking about with the issue with the tractor is possibly looking at buying a brand new tractor and even changing that power harrow because of the land there is. So I'm thinking about making possibly the 3670 the power harrow tractor with a 4 metre power harrow and maybe getting a brand new one of these brand new Massey Ferguson AS's to go on this drill that's my thoughts at the moment about how we're going to change things a bit here because obviously we're going to have a lot of drilling to do in a minute and a couple of the fields do want power harrowing a couple of times a pre-power harrow and the one with the drill so that's what I think I'm going to change so it's the next morning here now 
and the shop has just turned up to pick up this tractor so they've got that on a lorry so that'll be going away be looked at but I think we're going to be changing it anyway so we did have a word with them yesterday uh, and they bought a power harrow which we just got off with the fair agri and lifted it off with the loader and hopefully tomorrow an AS is going to be turning up so we'll just leave that there for now that lorry is gone uh, we have got the John Deere out here we were just about to start making a start ploughing out here start out here plowing So that's where we're probably going to leave it for this one and we'll be back again tomorrow and hopefully this other tractor, this brand new tractor is going to turn up. So we'll catch you then. So thanks for watching and see you again shortly. Cheers.